Welcome back to the channel. I've updated this video as there's an exciting new development with the current release of Hugo where we don't have to specify a configuration for removing white space from minified HTML anymore. Now for this video you need to have at least version 0.95.0 of Hugo installed in order to not worry about that configuration and you need to have Visual Studio Code installed. We'll be outputting minified HTML using the minify option. We'll be using npm init to start an npm project and we'll be writing npm scripts for frequently used commands so we can do that minify quite quickly. For those who are using older versions of Hugo's, if it's in a project where you can't upgrade it due to breaking changes, I've also included information on how you can actually customize the configuration so you can output minified code with no white space. Before we start, a quick message from this video sponsor. As a Skillshare teacher, I've partnered up with them to offer you a free one month trial using my links below. I personally produce full length Hugo courses on Skillshare and there are many other great teachers on Skillshare ready to help you level up your skills for your next big project. Click on the links below to explore my courses and get a one month free trial. You can cancel at any time. You'll also be supporting this channel. So let's get started. Now I've left a link below in the description for the files you'll need for this tutorial. Once you're at the GitHub page, there is a code button and if you're an experienced Git user, you can use Git to clone this repository, otherwise you can just download a zip of today's lesson. The first thing we have to do is work out which version of Hugo we have installed. So if you open up a new terminal, it's as simple as typing in Hugo version. I've currently got version 0.95.0 installed and that means I don't have to worry about the configuration options at the end of this video. The first thing we'll do is we will create some basic npm scripts so we don't have to write some com complex commands each time we want to run Hugo and Minify. So what we have to do is open up a new terminal and the command you need to use to initialize your project with npm is npm init. Now npm init is normally for when you want to upload a project to the npm repository if you're writing some sort of plugin or package. In this case, we're using it purely uh, for the scripts and you may well use it to download some additional packages. So the, when it asks you questions, keep in mind you don't need to answer all of them. So the first thing is package name. Now it does help to put a, a decent package name on this. I'm just going to use the package name that I've used for GitHub and you'll see that when you open up the repository. The version at this stage isn't that important. I've got a video on versioning and description again, not so important. Ignore the entry point and test command. It does help to put the Git repository there just so you have a record of it. And keywords don't matter so much because all of these questions are being asked so people can actually find your package on NPM and you're not going to be publishing it to NPM anyway so they really don't matter. So then you can hit enter at the end to say it's okay. Then we'll check out the file that's just been created, the package.json. And you'll see now we've got a script section. So we'll start with the test one and we'll call that dev and then we'll back out all of that code inside the inverted commas. And we'll just start with Hugo server for dev. Then we'll put in a comma and an enter and some more inverted commas and we'll write a build script. Now you must put a colon after that and a space and then some more inverted commas and we'll just do Hugo for now. And then we'll jump over onto the Hugo website and we'll have a look at what we can add. Keep in mind you do need a comma after that first line. It's extremely important, otherwise it's not going to be valid JSON and the script won't work. You do not put a comma at the end of your second line. So we'll start with the Hugo server command for our development server. I've left a link for this page in the description below. If you scroll down, you'll see there's a whole bunch of options we can add on to Hugo server. That's under flags. Now the main one I'm worried about is if you scroll down, you'll see disable fast render. And if you look at the description on the right, that enables a full re-render on every change. So no matter what you do, whenever you change something in Visual Studio Code or whatever code editor you're using, it will reload the, the website completely. And you don't have to worry about any older content remaining. So we'll copy that and we'll paste it in. We'll leave a space and we'll paste that in there. We'll then go down to our build script. So for the Hugo command which we use for building to a public directory, there's a few things I like to set and the first one is the setting for clean destination dir. And what that does, it removes all the files from your public folder which are not found in static directories. 
So we'll pop that in. That's good for cleaning it up. And then we'll go back and we'll check out the rest. The next one I like to use is dash dash GC. And that stands for garbage collection. And what that does is it runs some cleanup tasks when the command has finished. So any resource files which aren't being used, any old resources that have been generated, it cleans them up for you. And that's really important so you don't upload excessive files to a server. And the most important one for this video is the dash dash minify option. And that will minify supported content, which is HTML and XML. It doesn't minify CSS and JavaScript. That's a whole other uh, thing you have to worry about. And that, we've got that in other videos. So we'll copy minify. And we'll paste that in. So we'll save that. And then we'll check our commands work. So we'll go down to the NPM script section. If you're using Visual Studio Code, it's actually enabled by default. Once you've got this package.json set up, you'll have an npm script section down here and it's really handy. So I'll start by running the build just to test it out. And then we'll go back and we'll use our server command. So builds work successfully. We've now got a, a public directory. But now I'm going to delete that and we'll go back and try our dev server. And the dev server is working. You can actually control click on the link that it gives you. If you open up multiple Hugo servers in different code editor windows, it'll actually it starts assigning a random port. You can put this one in your favorites if you want, but you can just control click on it to open it up. So let's open that up and have a look at the code. So if we right click and view source, you'll notice there's all kinds of spaces in the code and that's based on the way that the Hugo templates have been set up. It hasn't got excessive amounts of space, but there definitely is a lot of space throughout the code. Let's now have a look at running the build script and then we'll look at the code that's being generated just with the minify option enabled. And if you're using an older version of Hugo, I'll show you how to remove white space manually. So we're inside this dev script. It says press control key C to stop. So we'll do control C. You have to confirm with Y when you're running NPM scripts. We'll then run the build script and we'll get our public folder over on the left and we'll go into index.html. So now you'll see that all of the white space has been removed. That's if you're using the current version of Hugo, that's 0.95.0 or higher. Otherwise, if you're using an older version of Hugo, you'll have to keep watching and I'll show you how to manually configure this option. So if you're using an older version of Hugo pre 0.95.0, you'll notice that while multiple new lines have been removed, we still have a substantial amount of white space present in our minified HTML code. So what we can do now is we'll look at the configuration and I've left this link below for you and the link I've actually left the hashtag for configure minify. Now all we're worried about is you'll notice under minify we've got a section on the HTML and it says keep white space true. Now we want to actually change that to false. The rest is actually set up the way we want but we have to start from the top so we're going to start by copying and pasting minify let's go back to our hugo project and then we'll go down to config.yaml and we'll open that up and you'll notice i've got some it's not entirely important in yaml that you set it up like this but i've got my menu part down the bottom i'm going to keep that separate so i'm going to put a bit of a space in there I'm going to put in minify and above minify I'm going to put in a quick comment to remind myself what I'm actually configuring here. Then we'll go back to the side and we'll copy in the next level. So what you have to do is you've got to hit enter and then tab in and you'll notice on the markup example above you'll see those lines that Visual Studio Code creates for you as you tab in. So let's go back to the website and then we'll scroll down to the next level and it's TDE W O L F F. So we'll copy that, paste it in, enter, and then we'll tab in again. And then we do HTML. And we've got our keep white spaces. These are all the defaults that they're showing you here in the sample configuration, and we're going to be changing it. You could copy and paste the whole block in if you wanted to, but it's just going to be a bunch of extra configuration you'll probably never use. So we'll enter and tab. And then we'll change our keep white space to false. And then we'll save that. And then we'll go back and we'll run our build script again. 
and we'll check out our public folder and then index.html. You'll notice now we haven't got any of those new lines remaining. Everything's been put onto a minimum amount of lines and there's no spaces remaining either. So look, it may not be a lot of um, saving in file size, but over a large page and over multiple pages being downloaded, it does make a difference. So that's how we fully configure Hugo to minify. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, please remember to subscribe and hit the bell notification so you get notified of my new videos. I normally upload new videos every week. If you've got any comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video.